While the Joe Rogan experience is often known for its sometimes deep topics or the controversial antics of Joe Rogan at times, it should be stated that the show is also known for having a lot of funny people on it who come from a variety of backgrounds and styles of comedy. He's had everything from stand-up comedians to late-night show hosts, comedic actors, and so on and so forth. I love all those spot. guys, though. Like they're, they're like comedians. Like They don't want a real job. The, Contractors? Oh, yeah. Oh, the gate guy, the yeah. sauna guy, the this guy, the that guy. They all got their little fucking... Then the handyman guys. And while the rules of comedy apply here and that not everyone is a winner, there have been plenty of funny guests on the show over the years. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number 12, Duncan Trussell. It's crazy. It's one of the great confusions when you're when you're high on mushrooms <laughs> and you think <laughs> Okay, this, this is a put you in jail? Yeah, yeah. This is insane. Well, they don't want us to feel like this? Oh my god. What? You might recognize Trussell as the guy wearing the crazy Sasquatch looking costume blazing on the podcast. He's one of Rogan's longtime buddies and has been on JRE as early as episode number 42 in 2010. He's been on JRE over 20 times. Trussell is a stand-up comedian whose nerdy voice and style gets people laughing hard. He's an actor, voice actor, comedian, writer, and podcast host of the Duncan Trussell Family Hour. You know that Joe Rogan must like this guy a lot if he's been on the show over 20 times. That doesn't just happen, okay? No doubt Rogan is really comfortable with his buddy and is more than open to having him on more times than not. Number 11, Jay Leno. And my wife is like, oh, these guys are scary, you know? So I don't have to worry about it. So we're in the back seat of this Cadillac, you know? So I'm teasing my wife and I just kind of whispered her. I didn't think the guys could hear me. I said, you know, and if I go into the city tonight, I think I'm going to need a piece. Jay Leno is a comedian, actor, writer, producer, voice actor, and television host. He was the host of NBC's The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and currently hosts Jay Leno's Garage, available on YouTube. Joe and Jay had great chemistry in the episode he was in and spent a good deal of the time discussing different cars. Most people recall this episode of the show because it was one where we got to see a different side of Jay Leno as a whole. Remember that on his late night show, we're basically seeing a persona of him as he's trying to be entertaining to the audience and this guy goes oh mr leno please he takes a gun out he throws it in the back he goes please take that one i said no i was like no no please there's no numbers on it just <laughs> you don't need to do nothing with it when you're true just throw it in the trash here though with rogan he could just be himself and talk about the things he loves like cars and have some witty banter along the way nothing wrong with that Number 10, Hannibal Burrs. Hannibal Burrs is a stand-up comedian, actor, television writer, and host. You can catch his stand-up special on Netflix, and a lot of his older work is on YouTube. Hannibal Burrs is one of the funniest stand-up comics working today. He also played Lincoln, one of the best characters on Comedy Central's Broad City, and many appreciate any episode of JRE he's on. He and Joe also have great chemistry, and Hannibal, off the cuff, is probably one of the funniest guests on the show. <laughs> I can't exactly. see that shit. I can't exactly. see shit. Hot, hot what is that? What is that? Nah, whatever. What's that fucking newspaper? The goddamn game on. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. It's not a stretch to say that when you have a comedian on the show, it shows. Because they know how to keep things light and funny for everyone to enjoy things. Number 9. Andrew Dice Clay You will have to go way back into the archives to find Dice's appearances on the Joe Rogan experience. Spotify thankfully makes this fast and easily searchable. When he was in the prime of his career, there was nobody hotter than Dice. He usually played an arrogant tough guy, but that's not his personality in real life. Dice is a comedy legend and featured in the Comedy Store documentary, a must watch if you want to know the roots of comedy and Joe Rogan. Is there anything better than a comedian in his prime? Watch the episodes with Clay and you might just find out the answer to that. Number 8. Tom Papa Tom Papa is a comedian, actor, writer, and television slash radio host. His podcast, Come to Papa, is available through All The Things Comedy on iTunes. Tom Papa is a great comedian, and his material is mostly clean. What many think is particularly funny about these episodes with Tom Papa is that there's almost always some discussion of bread in more recent episodes. That's because somewhere along the way, Tom Papa got into baking his own sourdough bread at home. This appears to be one of his major hobbies. Hey, comedians are allowed to have hobbies and clearly Joe Rogan doesn't mind talking about bread, so let them break bread. 
Number 7. Roseanne Barr Barr, a comedy legend admired by Rogan, some people consider her one of the best female comedians of all time. Don't forget, she had one of the best sitcoms ever until its final season, and the reboot is technically still going on. On his podcast, Rogan likes to mention that some comedians get in traumatic accidents that change their personality into amazing stand-up comedians. He has specifically mentioned Barr as one of those people. She got into a severe car accident when she was 16 years old that required her to go to an institution, and she later became a comic. The two clearly have fun with one another, and that's good, because now Barr is cancelled due to her racial comments online that got her show cancelled, and then restarted without her. How's that for comedic timing? Number 6. Whitney Cummings Whitney Cummings is a stand-up comedian and actress. She's best known as the creator and star of the NBC sitcom Whitney, as well as the co-creator of the CBS sitcom Two Broke Girls. She was also featured in several Comedy Central roasts, and was a head writer on the Roseanne revival. She is very interested in revolution psychology and neurobiology, so she discusses a lot of that on the show. She's also eager to discuss the art of stand-up itself, which you know Joe Rogan loves, so the comedy tends to flow from there. Number 5. Nikki Glacier Standing at 5'9", Glacier is one of the prettiest stand-up comedians and has become a star in the comedy industry. A good friend of Rogan's, she's appeared on the JRE podcast multiple times. Her appearances always have interesting stories about her personal life, including how she sobered up from alcohol using a book. Now, she hosts her own podcast, the Nikki Glacier Podcast. Again, when a couple of comedians get into a room, comedy is going to happen. Number 4. Bill Burr Bill Burr is a stand-up comedian and also hosts his own podcast called The Monday Morning Podcast. His animated show, F is for Family, and some of his stand-up specials are available on Netflix. Many will tell you that Bill Burr is one of the best out there for the most basic of reasons. He's fast on the comedy, never afraid to go all out, and not afraid to call it like it is. He has a brutal honestness to his style and speech that it's no wonder he got Joe to crack up multiple times. Number 3. Lenny Clark Lenny Clark is a stand-up comedy legend and has been performing for over 40 years. A successful actor as well, he's been in dozens of shows and movies, including playing Uncle Teddy in Rescue Me. Clark's appearance on JRE are some of the funniest ones that are out there. He has incredible first-hand stories about heavy partying with other comedians, notably the deceased Sam Kinison. One story he told Rogan was how in the middle of a bender he was tricked into going to an AA meeting. You can see the jokes that would come from these two being together, right? Number 2. Kevin Smith Kevin Smith is literally the guy who does it all, because he wants to do it all. He's directed, acted, is a famous comedian, done animation, hosts several podcasts, and so much more. If he wants to do something, he'll find a way to do it, because that's what he does. When he went on to the Joe Rogan experience in one particular episode, it was after his near-fatal heart attack. In between very hilarious bits, he opened up about what happened to him, and it showed that amidst the comedy, he's a very contemplative guy. Number 1. Ron White We're a little bit biased here as Ron White is famous not just for his own stand-up, but for his time on the Blue Collar Comedy Tour with Larry the Cable Guy, Bill Engvall, and Jeff Foxworthy. But while he may not have been the headliner, he always made an impression on people with his comedy, and that shows every time he's on with Joe Rogan, such as with this lovely line. You never know when it's going to be the last time you see somebody, so don't hesitate to tell them, I'm gonna need that money back. And there you have it everyone, a look at the guests that Joe Rogan has had over the years in regards to comedy that really shine. Do you remember the times that these guests were on the show? Which ones do you personally feel were the funniest of the lot? Or do you know another guest that was perfectly funny on the show? Let us know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.